The world of web development is always changing. Nothing looks, feels, and works the way it did 20 years ago, not even 10 or 5 years ago. We went from bland text-heavy sites to websites that are interactive, colorful, and fast. Although the changes have been seamless in hindsight, all of this didn't happen overnight. We've gotten to this point by trial and error. Sometimes we made the right choice by accepting a great trend, and sometimes, well, we've done the exact opposite. And that's why it's vital to expand your knowledge and experience, to decipher what is actually worth your time and what is not. Remember, it's not about knowing all the information that's out there, but instead focusing on the right stuff to learn. Which is why today, I'm gonna tell you the biggest trends in web development that you should look out for in 2023. The first trend we will talk about is AI-driven development. With the recent boom of AI tools at your disposal for web development and tech as a whole, it raises the question, will AI eventually replace us all? And the answer to that is no, at least for now. But one thing you can expect this year and years going forward is more technology that is made with the intention of assisting developers. GitHub Copilot is a shining example of that, an AI pair programmer that makes your life 10 times easier by writing lines of code and even full-blown functions all from the context of your comments. And that's just one example. We obviously cannot forget about the biggest thing since sliced bread that goes by chat GPT. This technology spans much further than just code. Essentially, it's a chatbot that can answer any question that your heart desires. Which, if I'm being honest, is way too powerful for some of us, and I will include myself in that statement as well. Although these new AI helpers sound amazing, they also do have their flaws. Like being incorrect occasionally, not concise enough, or my favorite, fixing your bug and giving you a few more in return. Which is why personal knowledge needs to be combined with these tools. Without it, you can be doing more bad than good. Regardless of the fact, AI-driven development is here to stay, and it's something that you should definitely start learning more about in 2023. The second trend to look out for is end-to-end -end type safety with TypeScript. For those that don't know, type safety itself is a property in the program that ensures that all value types are known at build time, helping you kill those bugs before your program even runs. This comes standard when using TypeScript in any project. But end-to-end -end type safety is a whole other story. This is achieved when your entire application interacts together in a type safe way, for lack of words. Why is this so important? Because when you're forced to specifically declare a type to each variable, it becomes easier for you or other developers on your team to understand the intended behavior of your code. Not only that, but it saves you time drastically by catching errors early on in the development process. This becomes even more prevalent when you're working on a massive or a complex code base. Type safety was also one of the biggest issues that developers had with JavaScript, and TypeScript seems to solve this issue for those that want type safety. The third trend you should be aware of is the rise of meta frameworks. For those that don't know, a meta framework is best described as a framework of frameworks. It essentially has everything you need to build your application, and I'm talking about everything. Routing, server-side rendering, data fetching, serverless architecture, and so on. You see, when I was first learning to code, I learned what is referred to as the MERN stack, which stands for MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js. Which is great, but it's all over the place. In other words, it's not your all-in-one solution. And that's where meta frameworks come in. Frameworks like Astro, Redwood.js, SvelteKit, and Next.js, for example. These frameworks let you build full stack applications all in one place, which is why many people are fascinated by these meta frameworks and is something that you can definitely expect to see more of in 2023. The fourth trend you need to be aware of ties directly with our last one, and that is server-side rendering, or SSR for short. That's right, history is repeating itself like it always does, meaning there is a growing popularity in using server-side rendering once again. Now, in case you're new to web development, server-side rendering is an alternative to client-side rendering. Client-side rendering is when a page is getting rendered or built on the browser, which has its pros and cons. Like it renders quickly after the initial page loadup, but the initial page loadup is pretty damn slow. It also works amazing with progressive web apps, but it's quite terrible with SEO-first websites. Now, server-side rendering is exactly as it sounds. Instead of the website getting rendered in the browser, it sends a request to the server to do all the heavy lifting, which by no means is perfect, and it has its pros and cons as well. Like being fast on initial page loadup, but can be time consuming when rendering huge applications. 
It's also optimal for SEO because of the faster initial page loadup, but at the same time, all the server requests put some high stress on the server. Regardless of which side you're on, server-side rendering is something that you can expect to see more of in 2023, especially with the continued advancements of meta frameworks because of their seamless support for server-side rendering. And that brings me to the next hottest trend in 2023, serverless architecture. All serverless architecture is, is a way for developers to build and run applications and services without having to worry about the underlying infrastructure. What is the underlying infrastructure? The servers that you would normally need to host your applications, hence serverless. No, this doesn't mean that the servers just poof and disappear. They're still there. The only difference is that you don't have to manage them anymore. It would be done through different cloud providers that provision servers to run your applications, databases, and storage systems without you having to worry about a thing. Nowadays, you have tons of options to choose from like AWS Lambda, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Vercel, Netlify, and so on. And that's not even the best part. With this serverless architecture becoming more popular, companies are opening up more data centers around the world. Which means instead of deploying your application server to one data center, you have the ability to deploy it to many all around the world. In turn, getting you closer to your clients or users and creating a much smoother experience for them due to a shorter client server cycle. As you can see from my excitement, I'm a big fan of this serverless architecture movement and you should be too. In a world full of optimization, everyone is looking for an edge with their application or website. Which brings me to the next trend of 2023, and that is Core Web Vitals. This technology was created by Google in 2020 and has quickly grown to become the standard for measuring site performance and opportunities to improve. And if I'm being honest, if you play nice with Google, your app tends to get better SEO ranking, which allows you to show up in search more often. Anyways, a core Web Vitals report is based upon three metrics, which are LCP, FID, and CLS. LCP stands for Largest Content Full Paint, and it essentially measures the amount of time taken to render the largest content element visible in the viewport from when the user requests the URL. This is very important because it gives you insight on when your URL is actually loading. FID stands for First Input Delay, and it measures the time in which a user first interacts with your page which can be clicking a link, tapping on a button, or even playing a video. This is vital because it tells you how engaging and interactive your page is to your users. And lastly, CLS stands for Cumulative Layout Shift, and it measures the sum total of all unexpected layout shifts within the viewport that occur during a page's entire life cycle. And this is so crucial because it helps identify your page's visual stability, which is a driving factor on user experience as a whole. As you can see, the report is packed with useful information, which is why this has quickly taken over the web optimization space and is something that will definitely be more prevalent in 2023. Nowadays, web development is getting very popular, which makes it even harder for employers to make out which candidate is actually worth the opportunity. As a developer, you have to find ways to stand out from all the junior developers. If not, you will simply get left behind. Which brings me to my last and final trend. Don't learn everything, learn the right things. You see, staying on top of the industry is more important than ever. With infinite frameworks, tools, libraries, and learning resources, it's easy to slow your progress and ride a trend or technology that simply won't get you very far. So knowing what you need to be learning and when you need to be learning it will be one of the key factors to stand out as a developer that companies want to hire. If you want to learn more about becoming a senior developer and landing your dream job, check out the link in the top right hand corner and in the description down below.